Hello everyone, this is Tanner here. In this video, we're gonna to try to help you determine the best type of leather for your glove projects. I know there's a lot of material out there helping you to define or determine what's the best kind of leather if you're working on a wallet project or a bag, but I haven't seen much content in there that introduces you different options for gloves specifically. So to start with, what do you need when you're trying to accomplish a glove design, a leather glove? Well, you need something soft, something that gives you that tactile feeling, probably a thin material. And again, what purpose are you trying to design this article for also matters. Is it just a fashion piece or is it keeping your hands from cold? Is it something that is for a work purpose? It's to protect your hands. So again, that matters too. So hopefully we will introduce you a bunch of different leather options that can be suitable for these kind of projects and you can make a more educated decision and know where to find these leathers. So we can start with what is not suitable for a glow project. So in the market, you can probably find the most common types of leather, which is the full grain, full grain cowhide. Here we have gorgeous pieces, but they're made for wallets, bags, shoes, those thicker and, and more stiff uh, requirement projects. So this won't work if you're trying to make a glow. And if this is the only thing you're able to find in the market, I don't blame you because this is the most commonly sought after product, uh, but it's just simply not for the glows. So don't go for a full grain cow hide or start your search there instead you're gonna need to go for thinner options and maybe different skins so as you see the gloves i'm wearing here is made out of goat skin which is much thinner and gives you that tactile touch feel to control things when you're moving along your day but again this is not the best option which we're going to come at the end of this video to explain why so let's take off this first one and start with this option right here this is a small goat skin uh, it's a baby goat it's made specifically for glow projects super soft super thin the weight on this item is about two ounces if i'm not wrong um yeah one and a half two ounces 0 0.6 millimeters and this is actually the feature product of our video today this has the touch screen ability you can use your touch screen devices when you have a glow made out of this article we're going to come back to this to talk a lot more about it but some other options here is uh, double face four sheepskin so this is more for glows that you need protection from the cold usually we make glows using the flash side of the suede or the finished side of the skin outer face of the glow and your hand goes inside where the four is so it's much warmer and, and protects you from the cold. It's not much tactile feel to it because it's a bulky glow you can make out of this article, but serves the purpose when you really need it in very cold environments. Number three here is another sheepskin, but now this is for, um, this is without the hair. This is a aniline finished sheepskin. This is pretty soft, thin as well. You can even thin this down because two and a half ounce of the weight of this item. This might be a little thick, a little stiff, but if we thin it down and split it down, which is also available uh, in the market, this can make pretty good fashion glows um, with very nice soft silky touch to it. And number four here is, is a cow suede. Basically, this is a beautiful red or, or yeah, red color writing effect suede. You can make a fashion glow out of this. This is not gonna be your most useful item. It's soft, it's fairly thin uh, since it's a cowhide, but it's hard to keep clean. It's gonna get dirty pretty quickly, but it will complement some of your clothes perfectly because of its shiny, velvety touch and, and look of it and lastly we have a cow well buffalo hide here which is a softy finish we call it actually softy 
This can be thinned down. This is currently about three ounces, 1.2 millimeters. It can be used at this thickness or can be split it down to even little lighter weights to make it more suitable for glow projects. It is stretchy, which is what you need for glow projects. And it has a very unique pattern of the buffalo grain, as you see here, which will give you pretty fashionable face uh, uh, designs. So let's go back to our specialty article of touch screen enabled goth here in a second and to tell you more about that. What, what I love about this is the touch screen feature. So to illustrate this further, I'll pull out my phone and here we show you what we mean by this you can perfectly play with your phone as you wear this glow because it's tan that way to for illustrate the point the the sheepskin option we just talked about will not give you that ability you put your finger in it but you can't use your phone or any device for that matter so since in today's environment where we are obligated to use our phones pretty much you know constantly when you're wearing your glows uh, your phone rings you need to text and you can't do that when you're wearing your glows you have to take it off it's very frustrating but this article is designed for specifically that purposes and um, the chemical recipe in the tannery is basically how we accomplish this it um, enables your skin to conduct that um, electric circuit in your touch screen because of the, the chemical structure inside the tanning recipe of this leather and completes that functionality making it a perfect in, in today's technology age perfect glow material um, we're gonna make this article available in Tenerstein website and um, the colors also going to be available so there is no limit in terms of color and even the grain types we can play with it um, and if you have any glow projects in mind um, you want to try out different leathers with this might be probably the best option from the functionality standpoint this is not going to be your warmest glows ever uh, this is more of a fashion piece to complete your uh, clothes it will definitely protect you from cold since it's leather at the end of the day uh, it, and it is a great feeling in the inside the suede or you can use some lining but you need to test if you still have the touch screen function if you put some lining in it um, actually that's another video we can experiment with this together uh, and very soon we're going to start making our glow designs here at Pegai as well using this leather and we will invite you into the process of how we make those glows using this leather in a DIY uh, fashion. Hopefully this gives you some idea of leather options for the glow projects you have in mind. And if there's something you are curious and we haven't covered here, please let us know so we will do the research and get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.